All right, please sit down because Bernie told me, make it short. That's like God telling you, it's like, oh. But since there are so many under 30s here, and since I've been on the road with Bernie and Jane and all of the nurses and a lot of you, I just feel like I have to do a little bit of the rally stuff. So can we just like feel the burn? <laughs> Feel the burn! I love it. So I'm supposed to, um, I have the honor, well, first of all, just let me say for a second. The consumer attorneys, thank you for everything that you do. Honest to God, I just like thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I mean, this stuff gets very personal when it's our lives. And you guys and women, you've been there and we've worked together for so long. And the nurses, who are amazing, as you know, uh, they are amazing, come on. Um, they appreciate you so much, and thank you. I mean, together, it feels so good. Wouldn't you love it if the rest of the United States were like this room? Wouldn't that be like a wonderful? I would be so happy. I'd just be so happy. But um, I'm really glad that nobody said the name of the proto-fascist that we've all been making reference to tonight. <laughs> I feel like it would kind of tarnish our moment, but Bernie might. Bernie might. I want to uh, want to acknowledge the staff of Consumer Watchdog, uh, Jamie, Harvey, Carmen, Jerry, and the rest of you. Thank you so much for everything you do. God, you guys are tenacious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, we do have a, a, a single payer bill in California, and the state senator is here tonight. Um, Ricardo, Laura, State Senator, please just stand up and be recognized. We're going to do it here in California, and we're going to take it to the rest of this nation, and we're going to do it, right? Right? Right. All right. So I am supposed to um, introduce Bernie and Jane, our recipients. Um, okay, so like, what hasn't been said about Bernie Sanders? <laughs> like, uh, that's hard. Okay, so every day, if you want to know what to say about Bernie, you just have to open your iPad, read the newspaper, read a magazine, listen to the radio, listen to a television program, listen to a gossip columnist, and you know everything there is pretty much to know about Bernie Sanders. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill you in on a secret. Bernie is the most popular politician in our country. Do you all know that? You know, right now you're going, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and that's for one simple reason. He speaks political and moral truth, a rarity in our current political economic morass where everything around us is in chaos, our economy, our politics, and a global neo-fascist resurgence. You know, I met uh, Jackson Brown in the Medical Aid of El Salvador work years ago, and thank you, Jackson, for your work. But there's so many good people in this room. There's so many people that are kind of unsung heroes, and it's just, it's such a wonderful thing to be here with a Bernie Sanders and a Jackson Brown and a Mike Farrell and consumers. I just like consumer advocates. But Bernie, um, Bernie's done something. He's broken through in our country. He's really broken through. And he's offered, in a very kind way, a grounded hope. That, and he's made for all of us and for the young people who love him so much, politics that are accessible. And he also makes politics fun. You know, Bernie, you are the man. <laughs> you are the man. You are the man. And we love you and we honor you, obviously. But, Jane. All right, so confession, I love Jane Sanders. Um, you know why? Because Jane enables us to go deep. She challenges us, us to think about the more profound questions, and seriously, so if all of you who haven't had the experience of Jane need to, she goes to the more, the larger issues, like what is the truth? You know, what 
should we have as Jane in the world, in the educational world as Jane would imagine it? Should we have an in educational industry like we have now or an educational system? If we have an educational system, actually a real one that taught the truth in our history, the truth in our politics, the ideological truth, Bernie Sanders would have been president long ago. And I'm really very honored tonight to actually break kind of the news that Jane has formed this incredible educational institution called the Sanders Institute. And that is going to be about racial and economic political justice. And you're going to learn a lot more about it. And I think it's going to be one of the most profound institutes in the country. And I hope everyone, everyone who's ever considering going into political life sp spends very specific time in the Sinder Sanders Institute and with Jane, who's leading that institute. So Jane, congratulations to you. For all of us who've been on the campaign forever, feels and, and continue to be, it's not, it's a campaign for justice. It's not about an office. It's about human suffering, human misery, and the alleviation of all of that. Jane is generally portrayed on every stage as our assurance that we can go the distance. And behind the scenes, Jane is systematic. She's She's just insisting on an educational people, an educational system where people who lead as well as follow understand alternative ideologies and strategies for our lives. She wants us to think deeply. What is Bernie talking about when he's talking about economic inequality? What is Bernie talking about when he's talking about social democracy, our democratic socialism? What, what, are, what are these things? What does it mean and why is it important that you know that? Jane's an educator, and she's deadly serious about it. She's got a great sense of humor, and she loves exposing the myths of the ruling ideology that harm everyday people. Jane is one of the people, trust me. I, I personally have found Jane to be the rock in our long struggle to change this country and offer hope to the most vulnerable. If you watched her around the the, the campaign last year. She was in, with the American Indians. She was in, where Jane was the most taken was where the people were the most oppressed. She felt it, it was in her heart. And she came away from that kind of more enlightened. And it just, it affected her so deeply and I watched that. When, uh, when I'm with Jane and Bernie, I often think about how lucky Bernie you are to have Jane. <laughs> I mean, I do. You know, she's solid, she's purposeful and she knows where our country needs to go. She drills down and reflects, and reflects it on a very personal level. You often hear people in political life tell a story about, oh, I met a sick person, or oh, I met a poor person. I mean, it's really the most irritating thing that politicians do in my book, because I hate the stories about, I saw little Ginny and, or whatever they're talking about. But it's like they've never met a real person before. Like real, real people, in spite of their years in Washington, D.C., both Jane and Bernie are of and about the people. They keep it real. <laughs> Jane has many accomplishments in her life. She was the president of a university, and they write all kinds of things about her in that book, uh, cons <laughs> Consumer Watchdog, read the book. Um, but I just wanted to take this time to appreciate who and what Jane Sanders is and what it means for our grand campaign and movement for social justice and change in this country. Jane and Bernie Sanders are leading the campaign that will transform our country and make it a better world for your children, for my children, for our grandchildren and the world that's coming. They are incredibly deep fighters and they're so committed they're giving their lives to our us folks to try to change the world so i'm 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 privileged to be here and i want to just now go to a, a short video about jane and bernie and then if i could ask you to kind of come up to the side so if you could shoot the video please thank you